Since the Persian's empire, mankind has been trying to harvest the energy from the wind. First for grain grinding, later for water pumping and most recently for power production. Engineers are struggling to design larger machines at a lower cost, always under the so-called Danish concept. Would be possible to find a viable solution using kite models. In this video we will see why is worth to explore it and which is the current situation. At Energy Technology Sherpa, we want to bring you this channel to get acquainted in technologies and investments in the energy sector, primarily clean energy technologies. Sherpa is a key concept as we want to be the right companion for you in a journey that is difficult somehow. Stay with us and let's find how kite energy may change the energy sector. Kite energy is having a lower capex if compared to wind energy. The weight per megawatt is a very good indicator that there will be a substantial difference. As the system is very likely having less components and much more accessible the OPEX is expected to be much lower. Finally, the yield, both because the access to a higher wind resource and because a higher availability, is anticipated to exceed the performance of the wind turbines. These factors are giving a strong indication that kite energy LCOE can be one-fold lower than the wind energy ones. Let's get acquainted on the companies and projects that are challenging this new space for the energy sector. All in all, kite energy systems can be classified considering two main characteristics whether they have rigid or flexible sails and if the generator is airborne or ground position. There are other factors that may differentiate them but ultimately these two main characteristics are defining the type of solution. McKinney is a U.S. company that was founded in 2006. The name refers to wind in Hawaiian. In 2012 was acquired by Google. In December 2016, McKinney operated for the first time a 600 kW prototype with 28-meter wingspan. In 2019 the offshore energy kite was lost during testing. The wing did not successfully land on the platform resulting in the loss of the energy kite. In February 2020 the company was discontinued by Alphabet, parent company for Google. The company said, despite strong technical progress, the road to commercialization is longer and riskier than hoped. In September 2020, McKinney released the Energy Kite Collection, a three-part report and accompanying collection of open-source code repositories, flight logs and technical videos from the project. It also released Pulling Power from the Sky, the story of McKinney, a documentary on the project, and made a non-assertion pledge on its patent portfolio, allowing anyone to use its patents without fear of legal reprisal. The McKinney Kite Energy System uses autonomous tethered wings which fly in a circular path and generate electricity via wind turbines mounted upon the main wing, a method known as crosswind kite power. Windlift is a U.S. company that was founded in 2006. From a technological perspective they are following a similar path as McKinney. The wind propels the aircraft at high speed providing airflow to onboard turbines and generators from which electricity flows down the conductive tether to a ground station for storage and distribution. Their market approach is targeting military bases, or any other remote applications. Windlift airborne power generators are engineered to deliver mobile power, situational awareness, and communications. Altero spun out of MIT in 2010. In 2012 they brought into the field their buoyant airborne turbine, BAT, a 10-meter prototype using a standard Skystream 2.5 kilowatts. In 2013, the first commercial-scale demonstration was done in Alaska. The BAT can reach 600 meters, where wind speeds are faster and have 5 to 8 times greater power density. As a result, the BAT can generate more than twice the energy of a similarly rated, onshore turbine. The helium inflatable shell both channels wind through the wind turbine and self-stabilizes and produces aerodynamic lift and buoyancy. Through a tether power is sent to a mobile ground station. By 2017, Altaeros realized that BAT was struggling to compete with the lower prices of natural gas. The company pivoted into the IoT and telecom market. 
they released their first autonomous aerostat, the Super Tower, in 2019. The company positions as an airborne cell tower solution. KitePower was founded in January 2016. The kite consists of a hybrid between an inflatable and a fixed fiberglass skeleton to get a strong and lightweight wing. Energy is generated during the reel-out phase when the kite is flown in a crosswind figure of eight pattern to achieve a high pulling force and reel out the tether from the winch in the ground station. During reel-out it produces 130 kilowatts throughout 80% of the cycle's time. When the max tether length is reached, the kite's profile is adjusted to reel in the tether with low force, using a small fraction of the energy produced in the previous phase. During reel in it consumes 20 kilowatts throughout 20% of the cycle's time. SkySails was founded in 2015 and belongs to a group that sells kite rigs to propel ships. In 2019 they installed the first prototype. In 2020 they delivered the first commercial unit to a customer. The kite rises in figures of eight. As it gains altitude, it unwinds a tether from a winch on the ground. The tractive force drives a power generator inside the winch. Once the tether has reached its maximum extension, the autopilot steers the kite into a neutral position and the generator now acts as a motor and reels in the tether. The system continuously repeats this process, flying the kite at an altitude of 200 to 400 meters. In 2006, the Italian company KiteGen has built a first prototype, KSU-1, tested at an altitude of 800 meters. In 2016 they claimed the achievement of TRL-8. In 2019, KiteGen announced it has signed an agreement with SAPEM to exploit the technology. The prototype STEM YoYo is under construction at Berzano di San Pietro in Italy. The KSU, Kite Steering Unit is the unit that allows to automatically pilot a power kite or an array of power kites over a predefined flight path. Kitenergy is an Italian company that was founded in 2010. In 2012 the first prototype was flown. In 2014 they validated the major upgrade of the existing prototype and in 2015 energy was injected into the grid. 2017 was the year for the commissioning of the KE-60 Mark II. Kite Power Solutions, KPS, was founded in 2011 and in 2020 Norwegian KiteMill has absorbed the KPS assets and continued development in Norway where they plan to set up the first airborne wind demonstration park in Lista as early as 2021. KPS developed a twin kite system that aimed to provide energy at a lower cost that of wind turbines, while using 85% less material. KiteMill was established in 2008. In 2015 came KiteMill's first commercial customer, who ordered the first five plants that are expected to be ready by 2021. KiteMill currently operates a small prototype. The prototype consists of a 3.8 meters wingspan kite connected to a 5 kilowatts ground station. A landing platform allows the kite to dock in and land. The winch is installed in a barrack, which also works as operational center. Currently the prototype is being scaled up to a pilot plant. This plant shall operate continuously feeding energy back to the grid. Enerkite was founded in 2010 in Germany. Enerkites are operated in two phases according to the so-called reverse yo-yo concept. During the power phase the wing flies crosswind, unfurling the lines with optimal force and speed. During the recovery phase the wing returns to the starting point as fast and smooth as possible with minimal energy expenditure. The ground station generates electrical power from the torque of the unfurling lines whilst steering the wing using differential drum drives. Start, operation and landing of the wing work fully automatic. They have tested a 30 kW demonstrator. On the design tables they have two different models rated 100 kW and 500 kW respectively. E-Wind has developed an airborne wind energy system based on a tethered energy solution. The kite flies crosswind in a reel-in, out path, which causes the tether to turn a generator on the ground to produce electricity. 
their first-generation system is scaled for use on farms and will produce 12 kilowatts peak and an average of 40,000 kilowatt hours annually. They are currently in the testing stage, improving the design. The aerial device is a rigid wing, like an airplane wing with a single tether. Their system operates within the current FAA guidelines below 499 feet. Twing Tech was founded in 2013 as a spin-off of IMPA in the University of Applied Sciences and Arts Northwestern Switzerland. Name of the company is an abbreviation for Tethered Wing Technology. Twing Tech uses a drone they developed themselves to get the wind power plant up in the air. The drone is tethered to a winch. While the drone is being carried by the wind, just like a kite, the rope drives a generator via the winch. Technology has been proven in a 2 kW pilot. The company is now building up a 10 kW pilot project and in the drawing board they have two products, TT100 and TT500, for off-grid applications. They claim the technology can be scaled up to 2.5 MW for on-grid applications. Skypole development started in 2013. After initial design studies and IP rights protection, key personnel with experience in renewable energy and aerospace sector were brought in to transform an idea into a promising entrepreneurial initiative. The core team set up a partnership network with multiple companies and suppliers in order to manufacture and bring Skypole to the market. Skypole is a limited liability company based in Lugano, Switzerland. Skypole proposes an innovative approach, based on a new type of flying device, a box wing, drone with multi-element airfoils, characterized by high aerodynamic performance, deterministic behavior, intrinsic structural robustness, reduced weight and low production cost. Ampix Power was formed at Delft University of Technology. The company was founded in 2008. The company's original prototypes were tethered flexible membrane kites but lately they began to work on fixed-wing aircraft. Ampix Power proved its concept with three generations of prototypes constructed between 2009 and 2013. Ampix Power reached a significant milestone in 2012 by showing fully autonomous power production for the first time. This milestone raised the interest of investors. In December 2016 Orange Aircraft in Breda started the production of a very first commercial product. In 2017, Ampix Power signed a cooperation agreement with E on targeting the offshore application. As the cost of offshore wind power increases significantly with water depth, due to the increased costs of foundation works either bottom fixed or floating, there is a potential case for airborne wind energy systems. Due to its much smaller overturning moments, Ampix Power System, which generates electricity from wind using an aircraft flying 500 meters high, could be deployed on relatively small anchored floating platforms, allowing economically possible deployment in places where deployment of conventional offshore wind turbines is economically or technically impossible. The solution is a tethered wing that is connected to a generator on the ground. It flies crosswind in repetitive patterns, pulling the tether that drives the generator. After this reel-out phase during which electricity is generated, the wing glides back towards the generator and the process is repeated. The aircraft launches and lands automatically from a platform. Previously shown solutions are not a comprehensive list of what different players are developing and bringing into the market. Nevertheless, is a representative selection of them and hopefully some of them will be successful. This will open a vast access to renewable energy that can behave more like a base load kind of energy and reduce the cost of energy. On the description of this video, you will find the links to all the companies and technologies we have just shown. Please give us your comments and tell us if there is a technology or company we should be considering in future updates. Thanks for watching.